Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Dominique. I hope everyone is having a great day. I know it's been a while since we did an update video on baby Skylar. So we are here updating you on months three and four. Baby girl is getting big. She just got her four month shots this past Tuesday and she was weighing 11 pounds, 9 ounces. She did so much better with these shots than she did at her two month appointment. Um, she did not cry as much as she did at her two month appointment. She calmed down very easily. Within this time, Skylar got her first little cold. It was right after Thanksgiving. She got a cold and she also started to break out. Her skin started to break out really, really bad um, right after Thanksgiving. She had always had dry skin since she was like probably like three weeks after she was born her skin started to get dry but her scalp was just so flaky right after thanksgiving and then it started to like get real cracky and like raw looking and her whole body was like that she was peeling like crazy and I took her to her pediatrician to see what was going on and he was like she just have severe dry skin so he told me to just keep packing um, Vaseline on it but she was screaming crying itching like crazy all day every day so I was packing Vaseline on her and I was using Eucerin cream and then after that um, he said that he was going to refer me to a dermatologist it took them a whole week for them to like get the referral and then you know I got to get an appointment so I took her to our dermatologist that my niece goes to because Kyra if you watch my vlogs you know who Kyra is that's my niece she has eczema as well y'all this is what she do she puts my finger in, my, in her mouth and she's starting to suck on her thumb but um back to the story so she went to the dermatologist and he prescribed her this oil right here. But flashback to like a week prior, I had took her to the hospital after I took her to her pedi pediatrician because, I mean, he wasn't helping me. He's telling me the same thing. And her actual pediatrician doctor wasn't in that day. So he just told me to keep doing Vaseline. I'm like, no, like she can't keep going through this. So I took her to one hospital. They couldn't help me. And then that night she was screaming and screaming and screaming nonstop. and I remember I woke my mom up probably like 5 in the morning I was like we got to do something you know her body was just red itchy irritated so we took her to UNC Chapel Hill which is a children's hospital and when I got up there they like examined her really good and they said that she has eczema so they prescribed me a shampoo and hydrocortisone cream and it's 2.5 percent so i use the shampoo and i use the um, hydrocortisone cream and i feel like within about two days it was clearing up but her skin was just real pilly and it was still itching and irritated so i've been going through this since the beginning of december so her skin has just been just acting up just so irritated and it's really really bad on the sides of her face behind yeah. her ears and like of course like her elbows and ankles and her legs and her back it's just like crazy I only use this all right here when she she's having like a real flare-up and on everyday basis I moisturize her skin about Probably about four or five times, like during every diaper change, I'm moisturizing her skin and I use the Eucerin Eczema Relief Cream. I took her to a four month doctor's appointment and she, my doctor referred me to a allergist where she got tested for different allergies. As you know, Skylar does um, get breastfed. Well, I don't nurse her anymore because she won't latch on, but I do pump and give her breast milk. So she's been drinking breast milk ever since she's been born. And I had a, um, I had trouble trying to switch her to formula because she would not drink it. So she's just been breastfed. So I took her to the allergist and comes to find out Skylar is allergic to dairy. 
So it's a lot of things in my diet that have dairy in it. So it's really hard for me to kind of cut out dairy. So I try to switch her to soy milk. And she's been drinking soy milk for the last two days now, past two days now. And she's been doing pretty good, but she's been constipated. We're just trying to get through this constipation, right? So we're trying to get through this constipation, but we're trying to get her scanned right because we're thinking that the dairy in my diet may be causing some of the flare-ups. So I'm just trying to eliminate factors to better her skin. But Skylar has been so much more active now. She smiles and cools a lot more. Everything. Try, she tries to put everything in her mouth. She does great at tummy time. She lifts her, lifts her head up now. She's looking all around. Um, she, I feel like I have her a little small. She looks at me every time she hears my voice. Um, she has a couple of toys that she loves to sit in and play in. But I try to do tummy time with her at least once or twice a day to strengthen her back muscles and her neck muscles and things like that. Isn't that right? But Skylar has been doing really, really good besides her eczema. I'm just trying to get that under control. When I bathe her, I really don't use anything on her. I just rinse her really, 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 really well. And probably about once a week, I use the Eucerin body wash. And then after I, I wash her in the tub, I put her in the sink and I just rinse her off really, really well, making sure I get everything off. And then I immediately um, just moisturize her down. I don't even pat dry her or anything like that. I just put the um, cream on, on her while her skin is still damp. What else? Washing her clothes, I don't use any detergent. I just use... Um, hot water I do a double rinse and I put baking soda in her clothes especially like if she messed her clothes up that day I just put a little baking soda in there with her clothing Skyla tried baby food for the first time this week mm. is it good you want some more oh, here you go open up open up ah uh, move your hands. <laughs> move your hands out the way. Did you like the baby food? Yes. Yes. Say yes. <laughs> yes. So she tried sweet potatoes. Were they good? Skylar is petite and I feel like she gets that from me. She still wears zero to three months and she can wear some three months and some three to six months. It just depends on the brand of clothing because some brands, their clothes run smaller than others. But for the most part, she wears size three months. Since she is allergic to dairy, I have been giving her soy a soy formula. And she's been doing pretty good with that. But the only thing is she has been constipated. So that's the only thing we've been dealing with now is trying to get her over this constipation. But I know when you like transition like that, it, it takes some time for her body to get used to it. But other than that, Skylar is growing really, really well. She's developing really, really well. She looks around her neck mobility is really good her back muscles are strengthening everything she's doing really really well she loves to kick her socks off as you can see one of her socks are gone look you got your little toesies out one of your socks is gone where is it at where is it at where is it at your nose is running what's going on with you what's going on with you What's going on with you? What's going on with you? Huh? What's going on? <laughs> but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in her um, next update video. And of course, any other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys later.